Welcome to section three of Getting Started with Apache Maven, Working with Plugins. Here we will discuss the use of plugins, how to find them and configure them, and how to manage them using the parent POM. We introduce both direct invocation of goals and the use of execute rules to customize the build. One of the reasons that a POM can be as simple as it is, is that the standard goals are configured with useful default settings. One example of this is the source tree directory structure. There is generally no need to change that, and people rarely do. On the other hand, there are times when it makes very good sense to override a default. We've been running the jars we've built using them as class path elements. But that requires the user to know the name of the main class. There's another way to do that. The manifest in a Java jar can specify the name of the main class and automatically invoke it. So how do we do that in Maven? We saw that the jar is created in the package phase using the jar plugin. To see how that is configured, let's run the following command. Note that we're doing something a bit different now. Jar colon jar is not a phase name, instead it is a goal. To tell Maven to run a single goal, we specify it, qualified with the plugin prefix. The convention is that plugins have names like maven something plugin or something maven plugin. In either case, the something is what we call the plugin prefix, and Maven expects that part to appear before the colon. The goal name follows the colon, and Maven will run the mojo annotated as the implementation of the specified goal. To change the configuration of a mojo, we need to know its Maven coordinates. The debug output will contain that information. What we're interested in this time is near the bottom where it says configuring mojo. Here it specifies the full name of the plugin and the goal. Since all the configuration information is associated with the plugin, we'll need to specify that plugin and supply changes to its configuration. Let's open the POM. Changes to build steps go in the build section. This supports multiple plugins, so we need a plugins element, and inside that a plugin element to specify the jar mojo, which we will do by specifying its Maven coordinates which we just found in the diagnostic build. I've copied the information from the build to make this easier. As we will see in a later video, we could actually leave some of this information out. However, that won't always be the case, so let's be pedantic. Now let's add a configuration section. We'll need to add a property that is not part of the default, archive. And within the archive, we can specify the main class field of the manifest as follows. Save that and run install again. And now we can run a simpler command line. We've seen how to run goals through direct invocation and how to configure those that are part of a build. In the next video, we'll show how to add new steps to an existing build.